line of three to one. We're going to be joined here momentarily by our man of the match, Fike Hyderovich, as Fike is just getting the microphone all situated over there. Uh, I know Fike's just put on the headset. I will warn you, Fike, and if you can hear me down there, you may want to pull off the headphones when you talk to us, or it could be very difficult for you to understand things. But, uh, Fike, congratulations on the win. I know, uh, I know for you guys this was an important one. How big is it just to get three points and get back in the win column? Uh, it definitely means a lot. I'm glad that uh, we got a chance to come back, work hard as a team. Uh, I think it was really important for us to get these three points so we can look forward to play well Sunday. I know that uh, you were able to get things started with that penalty kick. Uh, in fact, we're going to tease uh, you taking us inside a penalty kick here in a little bit later on this week with uh, Eric Teppin from a thing we shot earlier. What was going through your mind when you take when you took that PK? Uh, basically, I just thought about putting it in the back of the net. Uh, basically, if you think too much, usually it goes bad. So what I decided to do is just you know, bury it, have confidence in myself. And luckily, I was uh, fortunate for it to go in. Now, there was a lot of play in the midfield here tonight, a very back and forth game. I know you're probably a little tired after this one. Uh, what was the battle like in the midfield? There were a lot of bodies flying all around the pitch here tonight. Uh, definitely. When they went down a man, uh, they tended to put more guys in the middle, try to stop the play through the middle. Uh, so we swung it around wide, and once it came back inside, it was just back and forth, back and forth, countering. Uh, they looked for that long ball, and I thought they were the most threatening on the long ball. So once we took care of that, we were able to counter, play through the middle, and get our uh, secured goals. And so you guys are able to pick up the win tonight. Obviously, you'll have a, a recovery session tomorrow. But uh, what do you guys need to do to be successful against Marshall and make it uh, two wins here on the weekend? You know, what's most important right now is getting a proper cool down in, putting the right stuff in our body, get water in, uh, and wake up tomorrow, get a nice uh, recovery practice in. Uh, I think that's the most important thing right now. All right. Well, Fike, hopefully uh, you're able to get that. I'll let you go cool down right now. Congratulations on the win, and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you again on Sunday. Thank you so much. All right. There's our man of the match, Fike Hyderovic. It was an important one tonight just to get back on the winning side. How nice was it to be able to get out, get those goals in the second half, and put three points up in the win column? Uh, we've talked about it before. I think the momentum and, and things like that are things that we need to work on. And tonight we took advantage of some opportunities. I think Charlie had a good goal. I mean, he made a good run through, and uh, Fike came off the bench and, and played like Fike's capable of playing tonight. And when he's playing well and Mark Anthony's playing well, we're going to put teams under pressure. And, um, you know, Charlie's just got a lot of pace and causes us some trouble. But we're able to come out in the second half and do what we wanted to do, dictate the pace of the match, get the ball switched out, and uh, we knew some goals would come at some point. Obviously, when Mercer went down a man, midfield play was going to become vital to try to put extra goals into the back of the net. I mean, just talk about the job that Fike did and, and really, Mark, and the, and the rest of your midfield because I know you changed up your formation a little bit here tonight. Well, we started out in a 4-4-2 a with a diamond in midfield and about after 15 minutes switched to put three up front, how we typically play to try and put a little bit more pressure on their backs. And, you know, I think that caused some trouble when Fike came in. He was able to slip that ball into Charlie and our pace kind of hurt him up front. And we were able to get more of our quicker guys up there. So... There's no question once we got up a man, we were able to keep the ball and knock it around. We were doing that a bit before we went up a man, but afterwards uh, it was just easier. You know, it, it, we're playing we're playing a man up. And it's almost like when you're playing XVX plus a neutral in the in a training session. We always had somebody that was open, and we kept the ball and moved it well. Uh, Landon did a great job, I think, in midfield too. When you talk about somebody that was holding things down and allowing Fike and Mark and those guys to get forward and, and uh, allowing them to attack. Well, and how nice was it to get three different goal scorers on the score sheet? Uh, obviously, Fike was able to put the penalty kick in, but then Nick Schrader was able to trap down a ball inside of the six, didn't rush, was able to put it in the back of the net, and the, the strike by Felipe Cortez was a, a nice cherry on top. Yeah, there's no question. Felipe hit a great ball, and I think the, the build-up play that led to the second goal is something that we've got to do more of. We had good runs into the box. Um, we were able to get people into the box and do some things that we needed to do, and Nick did a great job. He was composed, took two touches, and put the second one in the back of the net. So, you know, overall, it was a, it was a good evening for us. But like we talked about last time when we had Friday, Sunday, we've got to be able to do, uh, replicate this action and everything else on Sunday, and we, we struggled that with last time. So hopefully we'll see if we've grown as a team and done some things in training to get ourselves a little better prepared for a Sunday match after a Friday match.
Well, I know you guys were pushed to the to the limit a little bit tougher in this Friday match than you were last time out against Belmont. Cooldown is going to be very important on tomorrow for your team. I mean, what what's going to be your recovery strategy, and, and what do you need to do to be successful against Marshall on Sunday? Well, Marshall's going to pose some trouble. I mean, they're a big, strong, physical team. They're going to battle for balls. They're going to try and get things to be a little bit more direct, and we've struggled with that in the past. So hopefully it'll be a challenge for us that we'll, we'll step up to because we're going to play other teams like that. We're able to get some guys some rest today. Uh, tomorrow we'll come out and we'll do a little light session, get the guys' legs back underneath them, stretch and roll and do some other things. And hopefully, I think more than anything, physically we're going to be all right. Mentally, can we get ourselves prepared to battle again on Sunday? Uh, that, that's what we're going to be asking them as coaches. And that's, that's what we're going to be looking at to see if we can do that. Well, hopefully you guys are able to do that. Marshall, congratulations on the win tonight. And uh, we will talk to you again on Sunday. Go get some rest after this. All right. Thanks a lot. And thanks to all the fans for coming out. And uh, hopefully we'll see them again on Sunday.